California is considered the birthplace of our car-crazed culture, and that four-wheel love affair was on display when the Menard Chevy Show rolled into Auto Club Famoso Raceway. Race cars, customs, and classics were all on the menu for a Famoso feast. This is the Menard Chevy Show, where we tour the country to find the finest race cars and rides that are part of the Bowtie breed. Welcome to the Menard Chevy Show, and this week we've traveled across the country to Bakersfield, California, and the historic Auto Club Famoso Raceway. You know, it's a drag strip. We're going to see lots of great things going on down the track, but we're here to see beautiful cars, and that's just what we're going to do. Big fan of station wagons, but this one has been taken to the next level. Tell me about it, Craig. I had a 67 El Camino that I had for a daily driver, and I had to do some repair to uh, run the windshield, and it ended up turning into this. So I found the four-door wagon, cut apart the El Camino that was not rusted out, and put it onto this uh, to make a two-door wagon, and eventually into the sedan delivery. So tell us about the parts that came from the El Camino. Uh, the El Camino uh, donated the rear quarter panel, including the rocker and actually the, the drip rail that went up over the door and was spliced in the A-pillar and the door. And the rest of it is from the four-door wagon. El Camino, it had bucket seats in it, the original 67 bucket seats, and they're in here. Uh, eliminated the back seat, and uh, it's a leather and German tweed carpet in there. Wanted it to kind of simulate a stock interior, but uh, it's a mild custom. This week's winner of the Duracell Crank It With The Copper Top Award is Dan Bishop in his 1970 Chevelle. 981 points out of 1,000 at a big car show. That is really impressive. And this 1970 Chevelle, Dan, what a gorgeous piece of automotive history. Thank you very much. Yes, this uh, Chevelle was built on April 23rd, 1970, and um, it's fully documented from day one uh, through all the owners. I'm the uh, fifth owner. It did score 981 out of 1,000 at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in uh, 2016. A good majority of the points were because of uh, dirt issues, because I drive the car extensively. I live in Southern California, and I drive to every car show that's within two hours. So, you know, I, there were things that were, I just couldn't, couldn't do uh, to get it that clean uh, because I do drive it. You know, something I noticed on this car that definitely was not around a lot. Is that an AM, FM, 8-track? Yes, that is an AM, FM, 8-track. And that particular option actually costs more than the LS6 option on the car itself. When you look at the, the order sheet and, and everything, you see it was like just under 200 bucks. You think, wow, that was a lot of money for back then. It was brand new. It was the first year that Chevy actually integrated the 8-track into the radio. Before that, it was underneath the dash. You even still have the original 8-track that came with it. The exhaust system is a little bit different. I put on the uh, chambered exhaust that was offered in 1969, only for a few months from GM before uh, they were outlawed by the federal government. So it does sound uh, pretty good when, it, when it's running down the road. Do people kind of give you a heck because of how pristine the car is, but yet you drive it? Yeah, there's definitely two camps in the car show uh, world, I think. Those who are drivers and those who haul around everything in a trailer. And each has their own place, you know. Uh, I just prefer to drive my cars and have a good time with them because they are fun to drive, and this one especially. Except you could never get air conditioning on an LS6, so on summer days it doesn't get driven much. Congratulations to Dan Bishop. He and his 70 Chevelle definitely deserve the Duracell Crank It With The Copper Top Award here in Bakersfield. Stay with us for more of the Menard Chevy Show from Famoso, because when we return, we'll check out a trifecta of tri-fives all rolled up into one wild wagon. The Menard Chevy Show is being brought to you by Z-Max, the one product for your engine, transmission, and fuel system. Evapo Rust, super safe rust remover. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. 
Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Show, coming to you from Auto Club Famoso Raceway in Bakersfield, California. You know, we see all kinds of great cars, but some of our favorites are the Tri-Fives, and you usually see lots of great ones. Let's check out this next award winner. The Gunk Tough and Trusted Award here at Bakersfield goes to Lisa Lavoie and her 55 210 sedan. That's a blend of Pro Street performance and Tri-5 classic looks. It's not all about the guys when we come to the car shows. It's also about the ladies, and this car definitely looks like it can put the business down. Lisa, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Well, I got it as a shell um, two years ago. I went after it in our own shop started stripping it, did all the work from start to finish with the help of one other person, the body and paint guy. And other than that, I pretty much had my hands in everything. Because it was already destined to be a dry car, there was only certain things I could change according to the wheel wells. And I had a whole new chassis built for, for it, roaster shop chassis. I um, kept the tubbed and then incorporated it with the old school body and then did a few tweakings of the motor. It's not your typical engine. I've got a 354 Hemi that's in it, 650 horsepower, custom built by Gene Adams. We drag race, so we like the Hemis, and we thought that would just be a different twist on a 55 Chev. And when we talk about something old being brand new, this is its first outing. Yes, it is. Brand new, November 1, we brought it here couple days ago just for this show. Um, it's got a lot of brand new technology as well. Power steering, brakes, air conditioning, all the necessities for today's driving and that's what I plan to do with it. It's going to be my driver. Well you talk about being a drag racer. Will this 55 get to jam the gears going down the track? Well it won't see the track because this is one of our slower drag cars. I actually run an injected nitro front engine dragster. So, but this will give me the need for speed on the street safely. <laughs> Congratulations to Lisa Lavoie and her 1955 210 sedan for winning the Gunk Tough and Trusted Award today. The Tri Fives keep on coming. Check out this producer's pick. I'll tell you what, I just absolutely love station wagons and this is a prime example of one that looks like a whole lot of fun, Jim. Tell us about it. Well, it's a 1956 uh, Chevy 210 station wagon. Uh, they made two doors and four doors, but this is a two-door model. And uh, it's got a uh, 350 Chevy engine and a 350 turbo transmission, and we drive it everywhere. Uh, it's not a trailer queen. It goes, it goes on the road wherever it goes. We really like this show. Uh, I've managed to win a couple of awards here with it, and uh, uh, I enjoy coming up here to Bakersfield for the weekend. Tell us about some of the special things and what you have plans for. It's got a uh, swivel seat on the passenger side so people can get in and out of the uh, two-door without having a lot of fuss and bother. I may update the interior in the future. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, right now, uh, we're enjoying it just the way it is. Up next is the Moonshine Sweet Tea Sweet Ride Award, and the hands down winner is David Gongora with a combination that is a flashback to the 50s. Normally when we come to a Menard Chevy show, we're showcasing and looking at vehicles and cars, but this time we've got a whole camping operation here. And David, first of all, let's talk about this really cool trailer. Yes, it's a 1955 Starfire. Yes, it's been totally restored. My dad does all the woodwork. I'm not a woodman. I'm a body and fender guy, so that's that's how that got started. We take a look at the inside of the trailer. It, it's all original right down to the ice box. So people don't even, you know, a lot of people don't remember an ice box. Yeah, the, the first trailer I did, I threw the ice box out, threw the stove out, and then I go to my first vintage camper meet and everybody's looking at me, are you crazy? So I had to find another one and I found the 55 and this time I made sure we restored it properly. Of course, the dinette. Love what you've done with the dinette because then we move forward to the car itself and everything matches. Yeah, they go together. This car has never been without those mirrors or the trailer hitch. It was made to stay together. So I pull it off, put the car in the garage, cover the trailer, and we go vintage camping, we hook it up and we take off. What else have you done to the car? The car's pretty much stock. The only upgrades on the car itself are the disc brakes uh, to, to stop, actually. Upgraded distributor and upgraded uh, aluminum radiator for cooling because uh, I've never been over the grapevine with it. This was the first trip 
and I was very happy. It didn't warm up, pulled over the hill okay. I did have to go over the slow lane a little while, but it went over the hill fine. So it's it's all original, uh, Power Glide 283 Power Pack car. It's been restored to be original. So that was the only two upgrades I did to it. When you look at a trailer like this, does it have some kind of odd nickname? Can Am, a can of ham. So it's it look if you look at it, it's like an old can of ham. Can of ham to go along with their can of spam. There you go. <laughs> It's pretty easy to see why David Gongora's Bel Air and Starfire Camper Combo is the winner of the Moonshine Sweet Tea Sweet Ride Award today here in Bakersfield. There's still plenty more to come from here at Auto Club Famoso Raceway because we're going to check out a classic Camaro convertible when the Menard Chevy Show returns. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Show in Bakersfield, California at Auto Club Formosa Raceway. You know, Southern California really brings out all of the awesome Camaros. And we have a handful to show you, and let's take a look at our first one. You just don't see cars like this, and this is just a prime example of someone enjoying it. Tell us all about your Camaro. Well, it's a 1989 Camaro. It's never been touched. I bought it with 800 miles on it from Competition Chevrolet in 1988. Um, before my dad had passed away, he always wanted to go for a ride in a convertible. So it's got a lot of memories for me, and I've just taken good care of it. It's just, it's my life. It's a whole bunch of good memories with the car. The paint is definitely beautiful, and to imagine that it has this many miles on it, that's just something else. Yeah, 225,000 miles on it, but it's been well taken care of either in the garage or the garage with a car cover. I added uh, graphics to it, and that's it. That's all I've done to it. So you talk about the, the little things that you've done to the vehicle mechanic-wise taking care of the engine and so much. Do you do those things yourself? Yes, I do. I'm the only one that will touch the car. I detail it from top to bottom. Um, as you can see, you could eat off the motor, and if you looked underneath, you could eat off the underneath. I've just taken really good care of it and maintained it. Just If you maintain something and take really good care of it, as you see, you can last forever. An incredible 67 Camaro convertible owned by Brian Birkeland is the winner of the Rock Auto Restored Award today here in Bakersfield. This Marina Blue Camaro has had a complete body restoration and repaint. It's powered by the base 327 engine with a two barrel and power glide. And it also has many unique features. The shifter, well, it's on the column instead of on the tunnel. In fact, the car came without a center console and in its place is a single instrument, a clock. The seats came from the factory with optional headrests, which were actually not a safety requirement until several years later. Fewer than 3,000 1967 Camaros were delivered with headrests, which were a $50 option. Under the hood, the car still retains the original smog pump, or air injection reaction system, as it was called back in the day. This emissions item was required on all California cars, and this one was built at the Van Nuys California factory and sold by the Long Chevrolet in San Rafael, California. Brian's Camaro is a numbers matching car, and after a recent repaint, he restored the PTB, paint trim and body ink stamps, that the factory inspectors marked on the car. He also restored the number 18 that was originally located on the firewall. Brian, we, the car is absolutely gorgeous. You've owned it all of these years, but give us an idea. What did it look like when you found it? It was Bolero Red. Um, they had torched the spring, so it probably sat three inches lower than it does now. It had 70s Camaro 15 eights wheels on it that just barely fit underneath the car. And the owner I bought it from said he was thinking of converting it to an RS and putting the 350 in it. And I said, don't touch it. It's, it's all there. It's a numbers matching Los Angeles car. Congratulations to Brian Berkland and his beautiful blue Camaro convertible for winning the Rock Auto Restored Award here today in Bakersfield. So what do you say we keep it with the Camaros and our next producer's pick? There are just some cars that pop, and you got to tell me, what's the name of the color on this Camaro? This is Porsche Guards Red. We painted this car in my, in my garage about two years ago. The car went through a complete restoration, um, completely took it down to bare metal, uh, removed all the rust out of it, and then we painted it this uh, Guards Red. 
and then we put the black graphics on it. We started out going maybe kind of mild stock to a street, and then it ended up like it is today. And uh, it's got a little 355 small block, four wheel disc brakes, ABS brakes like a brand new car. It's got a six speed overdrive in it. And it's just a lot of fun to drive. Instead of going with chrome, you went with a lot of billet, and I absolutely love the taillights, the LED billet taillights. Yes, we went to the LED billet taillights and got rid of the original ones. They just look so much better. And something that a lot of people don't do is bringing the exhaust in front of the rear tires, and that's an interesting way to do it. Yeah, and that was uh, something that was kind of hard to do. Um, we took it to a few places, and they said they could not do it, and I finally found a gentleman that could help me out, and, and we were able to do that. Auto Club Famosa Raceway still has lots to offer, including a fantastic 4x4 that shines both on and off the road. More of the Menard Chevy Show right after this. Menard Chevy Show is being brought to you by Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. And by Gen Y Hitch, towing made easy. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Show, coming to you from Bakersfield, California at Auto Club Famosa Raceway. You know, we see all of the great show cars, but obviously this is a racetrack, so we're going to see all kinds of neat stuff. How about a Corvair that's been turned in to a gasser car or one of my favorites, 1967 Nova Wagon, running a pretty stout 934. You know, with this being a racetrack, it's very historic, and we wanted to find out more about what they do. Boy, this is a very busy place. Tell us what you have going on. We run about uh, 10 months out of the year here, starting in mid-February, finished up in mid-November. We're getting close and uh, got a full schedule of Summit ET Bracket Racing, Street Tuner Program, uh, of course, our March Meet, as well as our, uh, our manufacturer's events. So a nice, busy schedule here. A lot of history at this track. It is great to see it still going. Tell us about the, the wall back here and, and what this is all about. We unfortunately, a year ago, January, lost our control tower behind us here to a fire. And we put the call out to people wanting to help. How can we rebuild? You want to come out and get some work done. I said, I can't have you come out and work just legal wise and insurance wise. So what you can do is make a donation. So we, we, we started the, uh, the Kingswell Tools uh, resurrection wall here. And for a hundred bucks a piece, you can get a plate here. And that'll be here as long as this track is here. So the donations are helping uh, re replace everything we lost and rebuild the tower next. Trucks are certainly popular in Southern California, and we found a 1974 pickup owned by Tom Tate that is the deserving winner of the LMC Truck Life Award. We are going big and big time chrome on this 74 Chevy truck. Tom, you have done a lot of work, I mean a lot of work to this. Yeah, yes I have. Uh, I bought this truck new in 1974, and it was a regular cab four wheel drive. Back in 2000, I did a frame off restoration, converted it to a crew cab. And I was tired of seeing the Ford Super Cruise running around and none, no four-wheel drive Chevy crew cabs running around. So that's what pr prompted me to do that. <laughs> a lot of people didn't realize back in 73, made a crew cab four-wheel drive, but they were using them just for highway transportation companies and for the states and railroads. So you didn't see it uh, retail-wise, just commercial. So I found a frame and I found a crew cab and all the sheet metal transfers over from the regular cab to the crew cab. So I was able to do it that way. And ever since then, it's a project that we've been working on. Like I said, we had it up and running in November 2001, the way it sits right now. And every year we're doing something else to it, <laughs> modifying it. <laughs> the interior is just as gorgeous as, as the outside. Uh, thank you. The front seats are out of a uh, Escalade, so a six-way power seats heat it. And the back seat is a custom seat that we built. And the subwoofer is mounted behind, underneath the middle of the rear seat. So it's going to sound as good inside as it does outside. Let's talk about what's under the hood. It's a 502 Ramjet, uh, so it's putting out roughly 502 horsepower and about 520 pounds of torque. The truck weighs 8,800 pounds, so I needed the torque to move it around. <laughs> and we built it, because uh, I used to four wheel with it all the time before I did the restoration. So we converted it over and put all the same thing I used it for wheeling. So one day I will take it back off road. I have a jet, but I will. <laughs> Congratulations to Tom Tate and his incredible 4x4 for being chosen as the winner of the LMC Trunk Life Award here in Bakersfield. 
Continuing with our pickup theme, the OPGI original award goes to Roy Rourke in his beautiful 1972 El Camino SS. El Caminos are such a fun ride, and Roy, this one's just so clean. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun, and I've had it for 20 years, and it's just, my wife calls it the money pit, I call it my love, so. It did not look like this when you rescued it. No, uh, when I rescued this car, it had three different wheels, four different tires. I bought the car for $1,400. If you can imagine an El Camino for $1,400, it's it was pretty rotten. You've had some fun under the hood as, as well as, as the rest of the vehicle, and then you had to add more stuff because you had more power. Right, right. I ended up changing the original 350 that was in it when I got it, and I've got a 350 in it now, but it's uh, 445 horsepower or 440 pounds of torque. And to be able to handle that on the road, I put a 700R4 overdrive transmission in it, 373 positive track, and then to be able to stop it, I had to put four wheel disc brakes on it. Tell us about all of the OPGI parts that you have on the vehicle. Every piece of chrome that you can see on the outside of the car is from OPG, including the rear bumper, wheel opening moldings, all the side marker like chrome, headlight chrome, that type of stuff. All the win window and windshield moldings uh, are all from OPGI, as was the, the stencil we used to put the stripes on the hood. You've kept it very clean with the paint, but I like the black stripes with the tonneau cover, but the best thing is what is on the back. What's the story? I have a small consulting company that I do consulting with other guys that are in muscle cars. So it's just a name. The people in, in Bakersfield all know me as the Rod Father. Congratulations again to Roy Rourke and his impressive 1972 El Camino SS for capturing the OPGI Original Award here at Auto Club Famoso Raceway. Hey, that's all we have time for this visit for the Menard Chevy Show. But you know what? It's so great to see the racing community come together to support the track like this. Forrest and Charlotte Lucas, Dave McClelland, Don Perdome, and so many more have taken part in helping rebuild the tower. Well, you know what? We have so much more that we're going to show you again next week on the Menard Chevy Show. We'll see you next time around in Bell Rose.